All right, let's look into adding a uh, menu bar, the thing at the top here, edit, file, view, help, that sort of thing. And it has drop down menus, and you've seen these before. Uh, that one you haven't, because I made that one up. Anyway, the menu bar, uh, it's a container. It is here, GTK menu bar. Drag it over, and you will get the bar. Normally, of course, you'll put the bar at the top, and that's uh, done by positioning it. Um, uh, to the uh, packing position at the top. It, um, uh, excuse me, I've got the wrong one here. It's, uh, here's the menu bar. It's the wrong one that was eliminated because it has two positions. It has an X and a Y position, and I've put it at, um, well, 0, 0, or 1, 1, doesn't matter. Uh, don't go negative. Um, you can do that, but it doesn't work. Uh, all right, so there's the menu bar. Uh, the question is how to grab the signals. Menu bars have a lot of signals in them and a lot of subparts, as you can see there. Um, and uh, so if I go down here on the left, you can see there's the menu bar. It's messy. There are a lot of subparts to it. It has a menu item, and then it has submenus, okay? So when I'm in here, the GTK menu item, I'm actually at the file level. Uh, if I go to this, um, to this level here and give it a name, it'll show up over there. Um, I'll call it file, and you can see that, that it has shown up as file. It didn't have a name before, but it's a menu item. It's not something you want to grab signals from. Uh, in the file, it has a submenu menu, menu uh, which itself is not something you really want to grab signals from. But below it, it has uh, the things that are new. And if I click to the next one here, you can see it's GTK open over here on the right. It's going to put up the GTK open uh, icon and text the word uh, open. The next one going down here is save. The next one going down is save as. Next one going down is, oh, it's a separator. And then the last one down there is quit. So if you go up here and you click it open, you can see there's the new open, save, save as. There's a little bit of a separator there, and then there's quit. Okay, that's the way it normally shows up. Okay, I didn't give names to all these. It doesn't give names to them. You have to give them names. I only did one because you can take a while to populate all of these. And I went to the first one here, which corresponds to new. It's got the GTK new stock I icon and text. So it'll show up at that little, um, that little icon and it will show up at the word new, as we saw before. Um, all right, so there it is. And I gave it the ID new. Not a very clever name, but it's, you know, probably only going to have one of them. You, menu bars you tend not to have too many of them. Okay, so it's new. Uh, packing isn't important. It's a position. Um, you don't have much to fill in. What you fill in is over here in the signals. These are the signals that can come from somebody manipulating the menu bar. Uh, if somebody clicks on file and then drops down, you're going to get a bunch of signals. And um, there's an activate not all of them you're going to be interested in. There's activate, there's deselect, and select. These are the ones that seem to be the most useful. So we'll get to the signals. Uh, it's better to show them than to try to talk about them. So let's go into the code and um, see what the code looks like. <coughs> now, um, menu one, uh, that's the name of the menu bar. If you can see over here on the left, I did give the menu bar itself a name, menu one. And then, I, and then I have a widget just for new. That's going to be for the, uh, the drop-down file uh, sub-item called new. All right, so I've only added two widgets to the thing. And down here at the end, I've uh, pulled them out of the builder, menu one and new. So menu one, I'm probably not going to do anything with, but new is what I'm going to do, so I'm going to pull the signals from them. And you would have new, and then you have one for each of these things and for each of the sub-drop-downs and so forth. There'd be quite a few of them. They're all the same. Um, they're all going to be uh, the same basic code. What you do for each of them, of course, is different. Go down to the bottom of the um, of the text here. Uh, I only have a small amount of text um, or code. One is if you get on new activate, and you can see over here uh, in the signals uh, for the activate signal. Uh, one of the signals is on new activate, and that was created with the usual main, you know, on. And then it fills in new activate because the name of the button is new or the widget is new. On new activate, it'll just print out the word, uh, word new activated. What you do here is, of course, your business. 
um, you may be creating a new I don't know what. But this is where you know you would uh, when it's activated, or you might do something when it's selected. The next one is selected. Okay, there is the select over here on the right. You can see the signal's been filled in on new select, and this is where it comes. So if select is activated, it'll print out new selected. And if it's deselected, the final signal on um, on new deselect, it'll print out the phrase new deselected. So for the three signals, activate, select, and deselect, on the menu item whose name or ID is new, which corresponds to the new file um, sub item, uh, you'll get a printout. And that'll show us what we're really doing here. So I'll just get out of there and um, it compiles, as you can see. And OK, we go in here. Now, the important thing is to watch what's going on in the background. OK, here's the background because you're going to see stuff printed out when various signals occur. So I go up to hell uh, to file. You can see there's your standard drop down. We've seen this before. Now watch what happens as I move my mouse or the cursor down over the word new. Um, well, get it right. Um, excuse me, I was looking at the background and I didn't see I'd moved to edit. When I moved it from file down to new, you see the word selected. When I move it from new, I'm, just, I'm not clicking anything, I'm just moving the mouse. When I move it to open, you see it's now deselected. If I move it back to new, you see it's selected. In other words, the what, it, what the signal's coming in is it tells me that the mouse is on top of the word new. Or it's not on top of the word new. I've passed away from. Now, if I had a signal for open, if I you know, populated that, it would say that new was deselected and open was selected. All right? So I only did one of these. If I'd done them all, you'd see a whole procession of things coming on and going off as the mouse moves over the various items. Okay, so that's selected, deselected. Deselected, selected. All right, now if I click it, there I get activate. Activate is a signal. It rolls up the, uh, the menu bar, uh, but it tells me that I actually clicked on it. Now, what you do at that point is, of course, whatever your application wants to do. I don't know what you may be creating a new file. You may be creating a new image. You may be, I don't know. Uh, but in that section of code, now I'll exit here. In that section of code, um, whoops, um, um, C view came up there. Um, it, uh, all right. Uh, in these sections of code, you would do whatever it is you want to do. For example, if you passed over select, you, you might pop up a, 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 um, a box that says something about uh, new. Or um, when it's deselect, you drop that box and maybe another one gets selected and you pop that box up. Or you do nothing. Or you simply wait until somebody clicks and that's the activate. Now what you do where I've got the printf is anything you want. Better not be too long because you're going to make a return. But um, yeah, it, it's a uh, it's, uh, user's option. Okay? Now we go back here. Um, in uh, when, when it, it, There's edit and it's got a bunch of things in it and it's help. Um, what if you want to add something to help? Under view, there was nothing. You see there's something there now, but there was nothing. I added something. That's what I'm going to look at. Under the view tab, uh, there was there was nothing. Okay, how do you add one? Now this is where we get where, we, where it gets messy, because we want to be able to find everything over here on the left hand side, um, because it, okay this uh, this one here should be view. So why don't I go up here and name it, give it an ID, even though I I don't intend to actually use it. Um, I'm not going to grab signals from it, so I don't really need its ID. Uh, you only need an ID when you're going to be grabbing signals from something, well, or moving it or something like that. Okay, so there's this. This is the tab for new. This guy here is the tab for edit. Why don't we put it up here just to get rid of confusion? And this one down here is the tab for help. You know, type in help there. Now they're all they're all named. Okay. Uh, underneath it, you see there's the holder for another menu. It doesn't accept, actually have it. Then it's got an actual menu item in it. You know, so we did the same thing with file. File had a submenu. But in the submenu are the actual items. Like there is the new and um, just to, you know, populate it here. This was the open. I can tell because of the icon 
designation down there. And this one was the one for um, for save. And this is the one for what's next, uh, save as. I'll just say save as. I'm not sure it likes a hyphen. Uh, and they tend to mean something else when you get into code. Uh, separator, I don't think we really want anything to do with the separator. And finally, we've got quit. Um, OK, so now you can see all those names are populated. Under edit um, view, uh, under edit, I didn't populate anything. Uh, it's got a sub menu also, it's not go down there. Um, so we're back up at the top view, and we've got a sub menu. And I typed in VC1. How did I get this in here? Um, how did I get this in here? The, the, the question is, okay, I'm, go I'm on the view. If I right click on it and I go down to edit, all right, up pops a box. And you can see all the different parts here. These are all the different parts of the, um, of the menu, uh, the, the menu bar or title, or menu bar, I guess it's called. If I want to add a new item, um, this is where I would add it and I would call it, I would call it new uh, item. And uh, it doesn't have a name. I'll call it, um, call it newer. All right. Uh, you see it's appearing up here. You see, it's up here in the menu bar. So this, so when I, when I'm in, when I'm at the first level under menu, if I if I add something, I'm adding a new menu item. All right. If I go to view, which is what I was on, and I go down to the sub menu and I right click on it. If I've got the right one here, uh, no, it's not. Uh, it's not the right one. Um, that is, uh, it's view itself. And let me see, get the edit there. Um, and I go down, I click on view, and now I add one. Okay, it gets confusing as to where to click. But um, if I, when I went in there, I came at the top level. Now I'm on, on the view. So if I add one here, um, nope, it added it down the bottom, um, as a, which I don't want. So, uh, oh, there it is. I'm sorry. I forgotten. It is, it does get confusing. All right, so let me go back up here. Let me get rid of that. Okay, here's the whole thing again. You're in the menu. Uh, click on one of the items like view. Right click on it and you'll get an edit bar, uh, edit window coming up. Uh, click on the one you want to add something to. Right click here and you will see add a variety of things. Add child normal item. Uh, that was the one I'm talking about. I haven't played with the others, but they're there. Okay, now it's added a new item and I can call this, call it VC2. And yeah, you should give it a name. You could, um, you could put, uh, you could at this point you could have added one with with an icon in it. I think there's this doesn't take the icon, but you could get an icon with one of the other options. Um, I'll just call it VC2. So uh, for the uh, for the purpose that shows up. Okay. All right. Now I've got two of them. So what have I done? View, which originally originally had nothing underneath it. I've added VC1, or I added that before, and then I added VC2. But you just saw me stumble through. So again, um, if you want to add something, uh, go into one of the top levels. View is one of the top levels. Right click, edit. Um, if you do an add right now, it'll add a new top level, like my newer one. Uh, if you go to the one you want to add a sub level to, view, right click on that and say add one of these guys. You can add, there's a whole bunch of options you can add. And that's how you do it. So you add an additional one. Now in VC1 and VC2, their behavior, and you, you know, give them proper names, but I just gave them some simple names. Their behavior is the same as um, it would have been for, it was for um, from one of the regular ones that were under file. You see, you got the same signals. I've got the same signals. I've got activate, deselect, and select. The other signals I don't think you're going to really use all that much, but they're there if you want to play with them. But the ones that seem most likely to be used are activate when it clicks, select and deselect when the mouse passes over it. So yes, you would uh, simply, and in terms of like for activate, I would say um, on, on VC1, activate, carriage, make sure you hit carriage return or it won't save it and save the thing there. So now uh, if, some, if, you, if you click on that button, you should get a signal. And if I go down here, um, the problem is I, uh, I don't have a widget for it yet. Let me just do one. Okay, VC1. 
I did not give them suggestive names, but um, so what? I hope it's called VC1, that that is its actual um, ID name. I think it is. Okay, and I go down to the bottom, and it's really just going to be a duplicate of this guy. Um, and I'll, and it's going it's going to be um, and I'll say VC1. Okay, let's just go over here and check that it was VC1 indeed. Yes, it is. And I go down to, I've got a bunch of these edit, but these things didn't go away when I clicked. Um, you don't see them, but there, there's a bunch of debris back here. All right, they're gone now. Uh, so I'm back up here and um, I compile and I um, run it. And now uh, when I open here, um, if I click on it, I didn't have select and deselect. Um, it was called View X, the first one. There it is, VC1 activated. So yeah. So I added the submenu. See the submenu? They don't have icons in them. There's one of those other ones that lets you add them with icon. They just got text in them. I didn't do anything for ZC, VC2, but I did for VC1. You see the activate. So where are we? Um, we can add a menu bar. We can add additional items to the top row of the menu bar. In a drop-down, we can add additional items to the drop-down with or without icons. So you've got your standard menu bar, which is you know seen in many applications. Where you position the menu bar is up to you. I I I don't know. It's an interesting question. Can I extend the menu bar width request? Yeah, I could probably extend the size of the menu bar. Yeah. Uh, well, it's not extending the menu bar there. It's actually extending the newer item. So. Let me go to menu bar itself. Um, all right, the menu bar itself extended be probably because of the sub item was extended. Um, let me get turn this guy off, and I will uh, I will go to the top level, the menu level, and I'll go to width request here, and I will uh, see what happens when we. Okay, now it takes it takes up most of the thing. Let's see what happens when I bring it up. I'm not sure I haven't done it. Um, yeah, you can see the bar extends further across the screen. You can see the gray there, right? So if you want a, a full-scale menu bar that, you know, it's more typical, it covers across the top, there's how you do it. You could probably play with the background color, but I'm not going to do it. I haven't tried it, but um, not all the times you try to change the background color does it work. In some cases it works, in other cases it doesn't. If it doesn't work, you could always go in and modify the CSS for the... Um, uh, for the particular widget, but I don't recommend that because that conflicts with the underlying theme on your desktop very often. It, um, so it can mess things up. So uh, there is the way to put a menu bar up there, and there's the way to add items to the menu bar. Sorry for a little bit of confusion as to which button to click, but after a while you have a lot of buttons on the screen. But everything else, you know, should work that we were playing with before. All the other guys are there. You see the timers clicking away. Um, we got the we've got this guy running. All of these guys are running. Um, um, I hit cancel there. I am, um, um, and we've got all of these. And I'm going to go play with them. Where's my spinner button there? There's my spinner button. Um, and there's uh, my image control. Oh, you want to fix the image so it doesn't drop on top of your menu. Uh, but anyway, um, there you go.